Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great. Now we begin with the part 2, the writing part for the end of term 3 exam. This is for the grade 9 advance. The first question in the writing part is question 16. It is proving triangles congruent by SSS and SAS. I'm sure you know what is SSS and SAS. SSS means all the three sides are equal to each other, congruent to each other. Whereas SAS means there's a side, then there is an included angle that is the angle in between them and another side. So S, A, S. And that's what it means. Now here, let's look into the figure. You can see there is, they have told these two sides are equal. Okay. And these two are also equal. So can we prove uh, this is congruent with any of these, any of this postulate? Yes, if you look carefully, there are vertically opposite angles, right? See, these are vertical angles. They're congruent to each other. So you have S, A, and S. So yes, they are congruent. You can just tell the sides. So now let's see the sample answer. The given congruent pairs are used to prove that these are sides and sides are congruent. And then the fact that GLH is congruent to JLK. Why? Because they are vertical angles, so they are congruent. Therefore, the triangle GHL and JLK are congruent to each other because of SAS uh, congruency postulate. So this is what is used over here. I hope that is clear. Now, over here, let's look into this problem. We know these two sides are equal to each other. And what about this QS? This is also equal to each other, right? Because QS is the same side for both these triangles. So yes, that is also congruent. This is congruent. Can we prove this RS and TS to be congruent? Or any angle? See, we do not have any enough information. We have just two sides that are equal. So it might be congruent, but we currently do not have any information that proves its congruency. So you cannot show that the triangle QTS and SRQ are congruent by either postulate since it's not known whether QT and RS is congruent. So you cannot use SSS or since none of the angles are known to be congruent, you just can't tell this is congruent to this. There's no information given. So, you know, we cannot uh, tell anything. Now, if segments, see over here, QS and ST, where parallel then over here you could have you know the alternate opposite angles interior angles and all are there right if these were parallel only now they look parallel but they have not mentioned it then we could have told these are congruent to each other this is congruent but here there's no enough information so that's the thing and over here what about this one okay when i look at it i can understand this is sas why this side angle and this ac is a common side right sas postulate so that is uh, from the given congruent side and the congruent pair of angles and the fact that ac is the same side which is shared by both the triangles we can say it's congruency from sas postulate uh, congruency postulate so these both triangles are congruent to each other and the last problem here let us uh, look into this. We have one angle, this angle. Do we know whether this angle is same? Yes, that angle is same. Obviously, because there are, you know, if there are two angles equal, then this must be same because it's 180 minus, say, imagine this is A and B. It'll be A minus B, right? And here also, it'll be the same thing, 180 minus A minus B. So yes, of course, this angle is same, but still, are they congruent? We know that this side, no, we, we don't have any sides information, to be honest. So we can't tell anything, you know, th there's no enough information. See, both triangles must have three pairs of congruent angles for the third angle theorem. Why? Because if two angles are equal, then from the third angle theorem, we know that these are equal. But here the side lengths are not known at all, right? So we cannot tell whether it's congruent or anything. See, now, 
for these postulates, you need to know whether all the three sides are equal or two sides and the included angle is equal. Now, if you're thinking, if all the angles are same, aren't, isn't it congruent? No, let me draw something. Imagine this is the same thing in an enlarged image. I will draw the same angles. Are they congruent? No, they are similar. If I, all the angles are equal, they become similar. If any two angles are equal, they are similar. But to have congruency, that means it's the same size, shape, same shape and angle and everything. That is not possible. Okay, so that is about this problem. So that is the end of the question 16. It's a pretty straightforward question. Just remember SSS postulate or SAS congruency postulate.